What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we are going to unbox this right here. It's the Mocos 12 megapixel camera, and we're going to do that next on Geekazine. What is this? This is a camera. Let me show you the camera right here. Uh, it is a 12 megapixel HDMI camera, 1080p USB streaming, so it'll do HDMI. Uh, it's got a full-size HDMI. It'll do USB in 1080p that does that in 1080p you can record to the from the camera in 4k at 30 frames a second but uh, if you do any out the hdmi out or usb out it's going to be all 1080p uh, uh they've got the cs ccs mount camera uh with a 6 to 12 uh, millimeter lens and uh, manual in here so that's basically then of course a remote uh and uh, so you could actually uh, remote control uh, this camera. And the idea of this camera for me is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting it overhead, not this overhead camera right here, because that's already set up. But on my drum set, I need a good overhead camera. I'm hoping that this is where this camera is going to come in. Uh, they have they show you the modes here, uh, how you can set it up. You can you can't use the HDMI and the USB at the exact same time, but that's okay. That's not what I'm going to be using it for. What I'm going to be using it for is my ATEM Mini, which is a switcher that allows me to switch four cameras. Yeah, I'll have it on my drum set and I'll actually have four small action style cameras, including this one, on the, uh, on the set and point it to there. So I'm really hoping it's going to give me a good, good look and a good feel and uh, we'll see what happens there. So Anyway, so this is the box. Let's go ahead and unbox this. And oh yeah, by the way, I paid for this with my own cash. Uh, so nobody's asking me to review it. Nobody's asking me to unbox it. All opinions are going to be of my own. And of course, even if that was the case, uh, still all opinions are my own. Nobody gets to check my work. All right, so let's go ahead. We're unboxing this, taking off the film. And we're gonna, this looks like it slides right out. Now I've seen some other people use this camera already and I'm very impressed with uh, some of the look on the HDMI side. I don't know about the USB side. Uh, and of course, if I wanted to, I could actually use this as a uh, USB camera for my any type of conference calls or, or anything like that, whether it be a Zoom or a Skype or a, or a live stream or a, any anything like that. So. All right, so we got this. We're going to pop this out and let's see what we got. Let's take a look at the overhead here. So what do we got in here? First of all, we've got, it looks like a USB to USB A cable, A to A cable, nice thick cable. It looks like it's uh, 3.1 in its data rate. So that might mean that the camera itself is a 3.1. We got an instruction manual for the C100. That's the official model number of this thing. Let's see how it folds out. That's very important. Uh, it's a it's six panels on two sides, so about a legal size page showing you how to connect it up and uh, and go from there. Uh, they suggest uh, you can work in OBS Studio. We work in Wirecast, uh, but they say uh, you know you can give that a try. Um, we do have a capture card installed in our system. We're going to use the HDMI. We're not going to use the USB on that. Next up, it looks like we've got a standard wall plug here. Let's see what we got for the plug. Say a 50, 60 hertz, 0.3 amp max, 12 volts. So you could possibly find a uh, find something to use uh, uh, as a battery. They, they do have the HD, do you say the USB will allow for the uh, for the charge? through a external charger. So you don't need to have that plug, but if you're using USB to actually uh, use as a webcam, you'll probably need that. All right, I'm not sure why that's doing that. Let's switch over this camera where it's a little bit smoother. My overhead, maybe I will switch it with this one. I don't know. All right, uh, let's see. Let's pop this out of these, this foam here. Really nice foam too. I like to keep these, this type of foam, especially when I need to do something like put a microphone around it. It's nice and wedged in there. I'm pulling it out. Oh, there it goes. There we go. 
There it is right there. It's got a little, a little cap. This is a C and this is not going to be automatic. And what that means is you're going to actually have to turn these dials yourself. So uh, if you're, you know, you're going to have to self-focus uh, distance and then what between a tele lens and a wide lens, telephoto and wide, excuse me. So, and we can take the lens cap off here. So that's basically the camera in a nutshell at the three dials uh, on the, oh, before we do that, let's just set this to the side here really quick. And then let's pull out this last part. This last part is the remote control. We will take this out of the cellophane. Is it still called cellophane? I don't know. Anyway, I'm calling it cellophane. Anyway, there it is, uh, remote control. Looks like it takes some sort of watch battery. Does not come with the watch battery. So that's something that I will have to uh, find out. Let's see, it does not say what type of watch battery. Um, could be the CR2032, but it could be a 20. Two, five. Those are st standard watch batteries, but I don't know. We'll find out. And that's pretty much it for that. So let's move this to the side here. And let's take a look at this camera. Let's see if this kiss one's behaving a little bit better. No, uh, it's still a little bit fragmented, but uh, let's just uh, we'll keep it slow here. On the top, we have the buttons. Uh, so there's no screen. So you're going to need some sort of external screen to see what's going on here. Uh, on one side, we have a TF card access and we have a, the 12 volt plug right there. On the other side, we have a full size HDMI and the USB uh, 3.1. On the top, I think that's the top. Oh, on both sides. Up here, right here is the infrared. And then there's a, there's a mount for your camera but you can also mount it this way. And there's another mount right here. We've got a microphone right here on the other side. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So, and, and the other thing is these lenses should be removable. Put this back on. Yeah. So, there it is right there. You can remove the uh, you can move the lens. So if you've got another, I think the C CCS mount that they use for this. Uh, so if you've got different CCS mounts, you can definitely just screw on. There's going to be no electronics to this, so no auto. Whoa. Okay, that's just a thumb screw. Not a big deal. But what's cool about that? is you could probably go down to your thrift store and find some of these mounts now okay the reason why i must have i must have loosened that too much these are also locking so if you if you say this is where i want to be you just turn it and tighten it up and that way it won't move anymore so that's and we'll lock these up for now so but that's basically the camera and this uh this lens is a what was it? The six to 12 millimeter lens. So you, you could be up close. I could be uh, like this doing a teleconference and it'll look good, but we start getting farther back and uh, you might have a hard time focusing things. So, all right, well, let's take a look at this a little bit more. It, it, looks, uh, it looks close to a point and shoot size. So that's, it's a little bit bigger than your action cameras. In fact, do I have an action camera around here? So there's the Hero 4, and then this is the Mokos, Mokos, however you pronounce it. So as you can see, it's uh, the size is a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger, and it's about the same weight. Uh, with this, with the case, and this one, it feels like the you know, pretty close to the same weight. So. Uh, this one, of course, the lens is fixed. You can't change that lens. Whereas this one, you could you can change it out to whatever you want. So it'll be perfect uh, if you're doing something a little bit more than uh, than what you'd need here. If you want to do a fisheye lens, uh, there's probably a CS fisheye lens, and I bet you these the prices of these are are going to be pretty low cost. So, all right. With that said, with that done, let's uh, let's go ahead and figure out how this all is going to plug in. And so now you are looking through the Mocos 
uh, camera. I have this all set up this way uh, through the USB. So just to show you, there we are right there. There's the camera, there's the blue cable that we had with that. Once again, can't use the remote because I don't have a battery for it. So we have the three things. Once again, this is the, uh, it's, uh, right now I'm about, oh, I'd say about a foot in a, a spare, a king's, we'll say a king's foot because that can be, that can be this wide, that can be this wide, anyway. So it's about a foot and, and spare change. That's that's the uh, that's this to get a good headshot on here. But I can uh, I can go a little bit farther and go back to the back of the table, and then I can put in this. I can come in near. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit blurry. So now I'm not sure which one I'm adjusting. Oh, okay, this is uh, this is for uh, if I want to if I if I'm outside or inside. Now let's do a little bit of focus. That's me not in focus on the near. Totally. So a little bit blurry. I'll have to zoom back a little bit. So there I am. Uh, I'm zoomed in a little bit. Uh, and now we'll, uh, we'll lighten it up. Okay, maybe I need a little bit darker. Okay, there we are. So a nice dark tone to it. So a lot of control for this thing, which is not too bad. You get a nice little, nice little shot right here. Uh, with this camera with the three uh, three different dials. Now, you can get different types of of lens mounts. So if you need something a little bit more, if you want a little fisheye, if you want a little, you want a, a little something to zoom in, maybe you're doing some macro shots or something like that, this is perfect for that. Um, I'm going to have to test the audio with the video, the sync-wise, because uh, as you can see, if, if we're right here and I go, you know, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, and then I go here and I go, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. What the data rate from the camera to the uh, to the system is. And I'll do that a couple times because I don't know. I have this set up really quick. Uh, so but basically that is the camera. It looks pretty good for the USB side. The HDMI side, my understanding is it where it looks a little bit better. But you can also then put in a small TF card, you know, a little SD card like this one. And in the SD card, uh, you'll be able to uh, to record at 4K at uh, 30, 4K 30 frames a second. Now, once again, we'll test on that. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. The uh, camera looks looks pretty good and hooks up. So I, I could expect my you know if I need to do zoom on the road or a Skype or or anything like that. I have a camera that's not a webcam that has a little bit more control. The only problem is I can't, there's no auto control to it. And I suppose there's probably a mount out there that'll allow me to do some sort of uh, auto control, but uh, I can then uh, I can then save stuff. I can I can be on the on the go. It says I can put in a power bank and into the uh, into the USB and with the power bank, I can charge it. And that is, uh, we've got the camera now set up for HDMI and USB. So you're seeing through USB. Unfortunately, if you have them both plugged in at the same time, like I do, and you switch over to the HDMI, you get this. So you can't use the, you can't use them in tandem. But, and uh, let's let's switch it over. So we we'll take that out and we'll put in the HDMI only and we'll see how it works. All right. Well, that's the HDMI. And as you saw there, we saw I'm actually seeing it says that it's running at 4K and I have it plugged into a capture card that is supposed to do 4K. We're just recording in 1080p. So that's pretty promising if I can do this in 4K and it looks it doesn't look too bad. Um, of course, I can brighten it up a little bit. And so that's a. Uh, that's at the farthest setting and a little bit lighter and of course there's there's the screen so that's pretty cool i like the look of this anyway that's pretty much it for this one i hope you enjoyed it uh it looks so wild with that blue cable doesn't it? anyway uh that was this right here this is the mocos 12 megapixel hdmi camera 1080p usb hd streaming and 4k 30 frames a second recording uh, you can get that now and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, you guys geek out. We'll see you next time and take care. Need that button.